Welcome back again, ROM lovers. It's Jamie of Ready Set ROM, and today we have another Plantation ROM. Today we have Plantation Clarendon 2003. All right, guys. So you all know about Plantation. You know all about their ROMs. If you haven't, then check out some of my other reviews. I think my first one was the Plantation Fiji, where I went into a lot more details on the history background of Plantation. But basically, Plantation is a company, I think they're out of France, they own part of the Monimus or the, the National Jamaican Rum Company, which also owns the Clarendon Distillery. And what's the other one? Clarendon and Long Pond, right? Um, so, they produce rums, most of the rums that they produce is either Clarendon or the Long Pond Distilleries, right? Um, this here is one-time limited release editions and guys, as you can see, the packaging on these things are immaculate. Like, I just love the presentation. They have the Jamaican um, National Bird, the, the Dr. Bird, which is a type of hummingbird on the outside there very pretty presentation top to bottom bright color it says double age rum uh, new yarmouth mmw which is the type of mark that they have but one great thing about plantation is that you don't actually have to know what the mark represents in relation to the ester counts because they give you the ester counts right on the bottom so you're not saying like so this wwm mark might have been like 300 to 500 range or something like that but on the bottle itself it says esters 422 boom you're right there on the money you know exactly how much esters is in the dub is in the mmw mark the volatile compounds 1571 so high high up there right so this one-time release has 29 cars Distillery Clarendon, raw material molasses, fermentation, two weeks. Distillation um, is in a Ven Vendome pot still, which is a great still. St. Lucia also has one. Um, never had a bad rum of that still. That, that, these stills are just good stuff, all right? And then we have, it's 17 years old, is this bottle right here. Um, tropical aging 16 years continental aging one year all right and definitely product of Jamaica so the price is anywhere between 85 to 95 dollars uh, most places I'm seeing online so you know it's a 17 year hundred bucks can't complain about that right definitely cannot complain about that so i am popping this bottle also i forgot to mention this bottle is brought to you by romshan one of our partners he loves um he's at rom.shan on instagram he has a ton of bottles big collection always post a lot of stuff on on there on instagram so check him out he loaned me this bottle just for the video they're gonna give it back to him. I don't know. Maybe I might keep it because it might be that good. Let's see. All right. So start with the pour. All right. So get the color. A bit of an amber color there. No more goldish than amber. Um, 17 years. So 16 in the hot tropics of Jamaica. So I'm not really sure. Not really sure. I'm pretty sure you're gonna get a lot of. I'm pretty sure you're gonna get a lot of wood characters on this um, because it's hard to get something in such a warm weather without some wood character although um, Appleton is always able to limit the the, the the wood character on their rums with their barrel management so I can't say for certain it is gonna be woody because man if you have a good management of your barrels you somehow could keep it down the legs are huge, huge legs here being formed right now. It's pretty slow as expected at the proof that at the at the um the age that we are at. I did not tell you what the proof was, and the proof is 49.5%. So almost about 50 proof, 50%, sorry. 100 proof right there. Alright. So very thick legs, very slow legs, very big legs coming down the uh, glass. Alright, guys. Let's get into the nose. 
Mm, hit you right away. So, I recently had another Clarendon, and in my mind, it reminded me of Worthy Park on the nose. This is not my second Clarendon, and I agree. It, it does give me a Worthy Park type nose. It's very, just like a, a funky, almost like, I think someone had said it was like rusty nails or some sort of like, you know, metallic type of nose. But there's some fruitiness under there. Um, most Woody Park, you don't get a fruitiness on there. The 13 year, which I reviewed recently, they have a, a it had a sweetness on it, right? Which was their WPM nose. Um, their WPM um, mark, sorry. And this MMW mark has a similar nose, but a lot more sweetness, a lot more fruitiness on the nose. Yeah, all right. Right off the bat, you're in good contention since my your nose is reminding me of the Worthy Park 13 year, which I really appreciated. Slightly floral, you know, a bit more of that that rusty nail type of metallic kind of nose. dry incredibly hot definitely like spicy very spicy on the palate um warming on the palate subsides a little bit but definitely getting similar to the nose and getting the taste that similarness to the woody park and the chemical metally kind of taste the fruit note is there it's in the background but it's constant just as the metallic -y, rusty nail type thing is constant um you call it like varnish it's just an odd tasting um definitely hmm, enjoyable let's go again plantation packaging again it's always great um briny I think that Vendome that Vendome just gives you a certain character like weather almost reminds me of um, St. Lucia as well there with St. Lucia in Jamaica um, you get that brininess of that of that um that Vendome so add a few drops of water to this gonna let it chill a little bit you know get to know it a little get the, the water and the and the rum infused a bit more um but so far it definitely lines up with some of the other with the one other client and i tried um as we wait let's just read a little bit on the box it says jamaica the intense aroma of jamaica the mmw 2003 is an invitation to discover the legendary rum funk long fermentation associated with a double retort vendome still delivers the opulent and complex expression of the island uh, and one thing i love not only you get so much information on the bottle even on the box there's the nose the palette and the finish all right so it says on the nose, I should have gotten fruits and in caustic note, mix of passion fruit, green banana, elegant woods, pruned vanilla, and bitter almond and fresh fig. In caustic notes. In caustic. Now I gotta look up the word in caustic. Just say just to give you the notes on this thing. Elegant wood notes, pruned vanilla, bitter almond. Hmm. Fresh fig. Fruit, yes. Fresh fruit, yes. Woodsy notes, yes. It is woodsy. Prunes, vanillas. Hmm, not really. Bitter almond, yes. Fresh figs, no. Alright. So this from their notes. So on the palette it says 
dry long with mango candied fruits dates prune finished floral notes you know i love mangoes and forever not forever but in St. Lucia Distillers, they also describe mangoes on some of their rums. I've never gotten mango on a rum before. I gotta ask my wife to, to, to second, second this, this review of, of um, long mangoes, right? I'll put the note down below if she agrees that there's mango in mango flavor in these rums. Alright, so let's try again. This is long dry with mango, candied fruits, or candied fruits, dates, prune finish with floral notes. I'm getting more the wood, the, as I said before, the kind of chemical, rusty nail type of thing. This mango, canned fruits, dates, prunes, floral notes. Some florals, yes. There's some florals there, but the fruits that they talk about, I'm not getting at all. Finish peppery, red berry ending with vanilla, banana, creme brulee. Pepper, yes. Red berries, I'm not sure what that means. Vanilla, yes. Um, banana, creme brulee. Hmm. Let's try for that one. Mm. No, I'm just getting dry woodiness, lots of woodiness. Like the woodiness is in the palette, it's on the finish. The only mention on the nose. Um but I don't I don't agree that 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 the this rum from beginning to end it gives you the same thing. It gives you a lot of the same thing beginning to end from the nose to the palate to the finish it's briny they don't mention the brininess it's woodsy they don't mention the nose it's dry on the palate um very i don't know i think that maybe the the vendome pot still is just a no matter what you do that's what you get with the vendome pot still um two weeks aging and that gives you a little bit more saltiness on there a little more brininess um i'm not sure like i, I think a lot of times when you get long aging i feel like you get a bit more fruitiness and or maybe you get more sourness because it's like a sour dry note on this you guys tell me in the comments what do you think you usually get with the longer fermentation time i really gotta like take more notes so i can really compare um what exactly is taking place here um highest account of 422 i thought i was gonna get more funkiness um i didn't i didn't get a lot of funkiness i didn't get a ton of funkiness um on here um definitely a good rum um definitely 100 bucks mm, I don't know you know um, I'm sure might be upset with me would I buy this room for a hundred bucks 17 year um it's definitely not a must-have you know in my opinion it's good it's very a good rum you know buy it you know yeah I, I could buy it you know but you know you have to be of that type to like those odd dry like you know those dry woodsy you know there's some funk in it but there's also a lot of wood character right so at 17 years you can't avoid the wood character it's not overpowering which is good it's it's there's always a point where some people just get like to me when you get to a certain age you have to have more than a column still you know or you have to have really like you have to have go for for very deep flavors of your column still right like the heavy pot the heavy column where you pretty much take off the bottom plates you have to do heavy column at least to get an enjoyable 20 year or 21 year or whatever because then if you have column 
you have column that's just really old i don't know to me you just get a lot of a lot of wood you, you know like after a while the flavor is just overpowered by the wood flavor and this it had enough funk it had enough flavor on there where the wood didn't overpower but it was very present right and then you did have that that type of funk you had that type of of um of odd you know whatever that that that, that flavor is that you get there which they, they didn't really describe it says uh, what's the word they use encaustic right which maybe that means like it said burnt in which i don't know but i did get like a kind of rusty nail maybe even like a varnishy metallic -y kind of flavor in there uh, very much reminding me of some of the woody fire flavors um and you know that's just me like this is my second clarendon i had another one which i think was about a 16 year two from um gregorius grumps you know clarendon is a unique type of vibe and i can rock with it i can rock with it not my favorite vibe but you know for those who like it it might be a must a must have for those guys who like it because Rashawn was like, yo, he gotta have this bottle. He gotta have this bottle. He even saying that for the longest. He got the bottle finally. And thankfully, he lent it to me. So I could pop it for you guys. Um, so definitely go out there. Ready, set, rum. Check out my Instagram. Check out my, um, subscribe to my YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out Rashawn at rum. Sean, rum dot Sean at um, Instagram. His, his, um, his logo is like um, Captain Jack Sparrow right um so check it out so again this is a must buy definitely i'll buy a bottle it's not it, it, it's it, it's way better than just a try to me like i could definitely put a rock on this and have a good time all right guys ready set wrong taking you around the world taking the clarendon jamaica one rum at a time cheers <laughs>